In this video we're gonna check if we can install Gcam on Xiaomi 15 Ultra. In order to check that we're gonna go to the Play Store and we're gonna search for an app that is called Gcamator. There we go. And this is the app that we can use in order to check if we can get the Gcam on our phone. Once we install it, press open. We can allow notifications. And then as you can see right now, the Gcam is not available for our phone. However, it might be available in the future. When you are watching this video, Gcam might be actually available. Uh, still, we can press request Gcam in order to uh, make sure that developers get the request. And if the Gcam is still not available in your case, then we can switch to Gcams over here. Then let's search, let's enter the name of our device, Xiaomi. And then here we can keep scrolling and let's try to find a somewhat similar device. I'm gonna scroll all the way down actually on this list. This is quite long, but the uh, most recent options should be um, the most compatible ones. Unfortunately, not every in not every case the Gcam for, for different smartphones is actually working properly, so most likely you will um, see some bugs or glitches or the Gcam might not work at all, but still we can give it a try. So over here there is also one uh, Gcam with this green check. And let's see if we can find the newest version. So over here we have for Android, Android 12 with the Gcam version 9.6 and I'm gonna actually use this one. So I'm gonna press start download. Of course we have an um, the the ad so let's wait for the ad to be closed after we install it I'm gonna actually press ok because most of the time you cannot really install the app from by using this app so now that we know that the app is downloaded I'm gonna go back to the home screen and we're gonna go to for example files app by Google then let's go to downloads and let's install the app from here. Of course we need to grant permissions to install unknown apps, so if you see this window then press settings. Let's allow from this source. We need to select that we are aware of possible risks and after 10 seconds we should be able to press the OK button. And there we go. And then press install. And I'm pretty sure the app should be quickly installed. There we go. Camera is installed so we can open it immediately and you should be able to find it for example in the app drawer. And let's see if it works. So first we need to grant permission. So of course, while using the app, there we go. Let's allow here this. We can also allow access to manage all files. I don't think I want to do that. All right, let's press done. And let's see if it works. So the preview works. Let's press got it over here. So we have the photo mode. We have some additional options here. Let's press the shutter button to see if we can take a photo. Let's allow notifications. And it seems to be working. Switching to the front camera works as well. And unfortunately, if we try to, do, to use a zoom, then it crashes. Or actually, maybe not. It closes. So we can change the zoom, but the camera uh, crashes after that. So a pretty interesting case. Uh, but still, well, we can change the, the zoom like that. Let's see if we can switch to video. And I think the app crashed again. Maybe not. Okay, so it still works. So we have different modes as well. They might be working. So, in general, I think it is a in a pretty solid state. So, uh, you can give it a try. See for yourself if there are some major issues with the app or not. So I managed to quickly find one issue with the zoom, but uh, it is still possible to use zoom with this with this camera. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.